Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, 12TK Behind the Scenes. On this episode, we'll be traveling to Atlantic City, New Jersey. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications for new episodes and shorts. Today, we're taking you on a journey from Atlanta, Georgia to Atlantic City, New Jersey. We're starting off with a flight to Philadelphia, where we'll be taking a shuttle to the bus station. Once we arrive at the bus station, we'll have a 30-minute layover before boarding our bus to Atlantic City. All right, so good morning. Headed out to Atlantic City, New Jersey. I think it's like 51 degrees currently here. 53 degrees currently there. Our first flight is on American Airlines. We're on our way to Philadelphia before heading to Atlantic City. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. American Airlines provided a great selection of movies to choose from. Can anybody guess the name of this movie? I'll give you a hint. It's a horror film. Once we arrived in Philadelphia, it was time for us to take the shuttle to the bus. Today, I'm taking you on a special journey as I deliver this bear cub to her new family. I've been communicating with the family along the way, and I'm so excited to finally be bringing their new addition to them. I thought I was headed to Atlantic City, but it turns out that I was mistaken. And the shuttle bus was actually taking us to Terminal L. We had to wait a little bit before boarding another shuttle bus to Atlantic City International Airport. The airport code is known as ACY. We're super excited to show you guys the beautiful views along the way. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled we got plenty of snacks and drinks to keep us fueled for the journey, and we're looking forward to arriving in Atlantic City. This was my first time completing a transport via shuttle bus, and it was definitely a unique experience. The scenery along the way was absolutely stunning. With beautiful views of the water and bridges, I always love the structure of bridges and the height they provide. The water views was breathtaking, and it was also peaceful to watch the world go by outside the window. While I was in Philadelphia, the city reminded me of one of my favorite TV shows, The Office. I used to work in the office myself, but the show is way more hilarious than my actual office ever was. I'm definitely a fan and it was fun to be reminded of it while I was in the city. Here are some fun facts about Atlantic City International Airport. The airport was built in 1942 as a naval air station during World War II. It became a civilian airport in 1958 and was originally called the Greater Atlantic City Airport. By 2019, the airport served over 1.4 million passengers. This airport has a pet relief area located outside of the terminal for passengers like me traveling with pets. As I arrived at the airport, I was keeping an eye out for our new family, but they actually spotted us first. They were so excited. Once we got off the bus, we had to cross the street to enter the airport. Good morning, everyone. I made it. 
Um, I'm out here in Atlanta City, New Jersey. Flew in from Atlanta this morning. Um, started off early this morning. Woke up probably around 3, 3.30 to make it out to 12 Titans Kennels um, Homestead between 4 to 4.30 for the puppy pickup. Uh, the puppy pickup travel time was probably around five hours total travel time, and that's from driving to the airport, catching the plane, catching the bus, and ending back at the airport as far as at Atlantic City. Um, as far as this morning, made it to the airport. Um, normally on Tuesdays and Wednesdays is the best time to fly out um, at the airport that I have come to find out. Good to know for anybody want to fly out um, as far as with a pet and want to save as well. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, it's not as crowded as far as the remaining days of the week. Um, flew American Airlines. Normally, I would fly Delta, um, depending on where I have to go as far as transportation. So far, I have been to Chicago, Illinois, to Austin, Texas, and Virginia. <laughs> And some other places that I have to go back and remember, but I have traveled pretty much along the East Coast so far. The puppy was very quiet. She was tired, she was asleep. It was early in the morning. Made it to the airport probably around six o'clock. Puppy costs is $125 when you fly with American Airlines. Last week I flew Delta and Delta cost is $95 as far as if you're transporting with a puppy. With American Airlines, the puppy needs to be able to move around, walk around comfortably as far as in the bag. Um, they didn't check for paperwork, but Delta does. So make sure you have your paperwork candy as far as if you're flying Delta. There was somewhat of an issue as far as trying to get on with the pet and the bag. The bag must be able to fit underneath the seat. Um, the pet should be able to move around in there comfortably. I was able to fit. Was able to fit. Uh, the attendant was very, very courteous as far as um, helping me with the flight to make it out here to Atlanta City. So I can make somebody else smile. <laughs> The flight overall was great. I took a plane and I took a bus as far as to make it here. I fell asleep on the bus. I honestly fell asleep. Layover in Philadelphia. Philadelphia airport is so nice. I have never been to an airport that had so many stores, like literally so many stores as far as in the airport. It felt like I was more so in a mall, like a mall airport, but I enjoyed it. I didn't get around to see all the stores because I had probably like a 30 minute in between time as far as making it to the next um, plane. So I thought out, but it was actually a bus. I can show y'all the buses. Can you see the bus? The bus is over there. <laughs> the bus ride was very comfortable. The bus ride was probably an hour and a half throughout the whole time. Um, the puppy was quiet, relaxing <laughs> throughout the whole entire time. So the travel time was probably what, five hours, I'll say, give or take five hours total in travel time, and there was no issues whatsoever. Um, made it here as far as Atlanta City, New Jersey. Their airport is a lot smaller. I haven't walked around yet, but plan on walking around just to see more of it. With the airlines, it was between um, American Airlines, United, or Spirit, or Frontier. I had four choices. Um, chose American Airlines. I didn't want to do a, a reschedule or a transfer or a cancellation or anything. Um, so yeah, everything worked out perfect. Very, very perfect as far as um, loading and boarding with American Airlines. I was there right there on time. And yeah, it was very successful, happy transportation. The puppy was very quiet. It wasn't no crying, whining. I think she was more so just tired and just relaxing throughout the whole time. She was carried. She was carried the whole entire time. She didn't have to walk nowhere. So she was very relaxed, comfortable throughout the whole time. Thank you for watching and joining me as far as today with the Puppy Transports. Make sure to stay tuned, hit the follow, like, and subscribe as far as for upcoming videos. Um, and we look forward to seeing y'all. This airport was small and empty for the most part, but I just stayed and waited until it was time to fly out.
Thank you all for staying tuned and joining me on this transport delivery. Now, we're about to get ready to take flight to a layover in Orlando, then to our final destination back home. We're flying on Spirit Airlines, and I'm so excited to share this experience with you. Please take time to leave your positive comments down below. See you later, New Jersey. Until next time. As I continued on the flight, I was treated to stunning views of my travel and wanted to share it with you and show you the Orlando and the surrounding area. The flight was smooth and uneventful, which is always a good thing when you're flying. As soon as I boarded the plane, I got settled into the seat and made myself as comfortable as could be. I was really tired from all the travel. I was able to take a couple of quick naps before landing in Orlando. I then caught the train to make it to my designated gate area so I can finally head home. Just made it back to Atlanta after flying in from Orlando. You can see it in my face, I'm tired. Successful trip. So I made it back. Um, Lord, left from Atlanta to go to Philadelphia, then to Atlanta City, then to Orlando, not back to Atlanta. Got started at 3.30 this morning and it's going on 12 o'clock in the morning. I went to sleep on both flights coming back because I was exhausted more than I thought. But I made it back. <laughs> All right, so every time I take in, it seemed like these one day trips, I always tend to lose my car every single time. And I don't even think I'm going the right way. But I can deliver a puppy. Can I find my car? Maybe. What time? So don't buy me while I walk around looking for my vehicle. Well, I'm not going the right way. Should have followed the path. Now I'm just walking in between, trying to make it to the other side of the gate. Cause they have me locked in. Mm -mm -mm. The dual gate can't cross there. Everybody trying to make it home. Ooh. Made it cross the street. <sighs> I'm gonna find my vehicle. All right, so I learned something new. Take the pathways, don't cut in between cars because sometimes there would be a gate stopping you. 31, 33. Who will find a car tonight? I am. 
I am. Um, I'm going to find my car. Every time. Now I even hear it. I even know when they're close to it. All right. All right. So I just remembered. I'm on the wrong side. I ain't nowhere near my car. Because I flew American Island Airlines to get there. And I got off at Delta. So guess where I'm at? On the other side of the airport. I'm about to try it again. <sighs> on a good note, the customer is very, very happy with the delivery. I made that one. Just got to make it to my car. All right. Somebody else's car going off. Made it to the north side. And that's why I parked at. Not the south side, but the north side. So I made it. Now I'm just trying to find my car. Okay. Okay. Found B10. Trying to get to A9. Hmm. Okay, that's B14. I'm not sticking to the path. I'm going to have to cut through. I'm almost home. I'm back in my city, but I'm almost home. As soon as I find my car. It's all smiles. I found my car. I should make it home by one o'clock in the morning. Maybe 1.30. <sighs> what a beautiful day. Started off super early, spent a smooth flight the whole way through. Got tired once I made it down to Orlando. Or really once I actually dropped off the puppy, it's just so much excitement. It's draining. On top to get back to the airport every single time and to find your car to play hide and seek with your car like how awesome is that all right best day ever so much for an adventure until next time make sure you stay tuned follow like and subscribe to tall titan channels we look forward to seeing y'all